All right, all right, all right. First YouTube video. I'm a nightlife photographer. Hello. My name is Alan. Nice to meet you. Some of you may know me as the Schindlerverse. The first YouTube video I really wanted to just talk about some of my favorite photos that I've taken this year. I began photography mainly focusing in nightlife and events. Here is a recap of some of my favorite shots, some of their stories, the people, the places. One more thing about these earlier photos, and, and still to this day, you know, nightlife photographers, we're bringing cameras into complete darkness with fast moving subjects, really tight spaces, a whole bunch of other issues, and trying to get good photos from that. This is like some of the greatest obstacles of photography, uh, which is part of the fun, it's part of the challenge. Please just, just take that into consideration, especially with some of these earlier photos. Okay. So starting off, May 12th, I just saw these girls. They were taking photos of each other, me being a social butterfly. I was like, hey, let me take some photos of you. I consider that like my first photos uh, of, of nightlife. Moving right along towards the end of May, I went to a fashion show in Philadelphia known as Sans Tem. This was a fashion show with Liam Yori and Julia Silver, two exceptional designers out in Philadelphia. I reached out to Yori asking if I could shoot the show. And not only did I shoot the show, but I shot before the show, during the show, after the show, and then the after party. And this photo is of Yori at the after party. What was really funny was during the actual fashion show, I had no idea how to use my flash. Flash, uh, especially for fast moving subjects. The photographer next to me, he taught me right there and then how to use the flash. I took hundreds of photos, half of them were literally pitch black. In the other half that weren't pitch black, there were some gems. So I often reference Sans Tem as the deciding factor pushing me to leave my corporate job and pursue photography more or less full time because I saw the support for entrepreneurship and so many different artists down there. It was very inspiring. So these pictures are from another pivotal night, early June. Uh, Yori had come to New York City and he asked me to do some photo and video work for him at a bunch of different events. And we finished the night at Emma Rogue's a one year anniversary of her vintage shop at Bella Chow's. I don't know what it is with Little Italy restaurants becoming clubs at night because many of them do this and I find it absolutely hysterical, but they're very, very fun, especially if you have a good crowd, a good event. Also, this party had really good cake and food at parties is underrated. Hope to see more of that in 2023. This was Rumble in the Jungle. This was shot in Fidei at a boxing gym and there were live fights during the party. Didn't really get any photos at the party because I was doing video. I went with some friends to Paul's Baby Grand, which would turn out to be one of my favorite clubs of all time. This being my first time, took some photos of everyone outside the club. What I didn't realize was my camera, which is one flip of the dial, goes from normal manual to grainy black and white. Some might look at these photos as an accident, but I just see them as a stylistic choice. End of June, we have NFT New York City Week. I hosted my friend Ryan Hart, who's a fashion and celebrity photographer from Los Angeles. And we went to a bunch of different events that I shot, one of them being this Hennessy party. We finished the night at Irving Plaza. There was a huge NFT event there. The venue did not let me bring my camera inside. This was also the first time that I met and was photographed by the nightlife photographer, the Cobra Snake. Upon getting photographed by the Cobra Snake, and I tell him my camera's in, in right over here in Code Check, and I really want to shoot the event, we both kind of realized, oh, like, I can just get my camera from Code Check. So that's exactly what I do. Then disaster strikes. All I had left was half a charged battery, and camera batteries do not last very long. So I'm running around Irving Plaza, camera about to die, taking as many photos as I can at this NFT New York City event. And that's when Eric Andre comes running at me in my general direction. I go to take the photo, and the camera dies. <sighs> Very sad. But got to shoot a lot, a lot of incredible people and their art. That is always more important than getting that one celebrity shot. It is now early July, shooting a party on a rooftop. I picked these photos to show I was trying out some new tricks. My flash would freeze subjects and then I could play with the lights in the background. Definitely not for every situation, but it is a fun little thing to play with at night. Okay, so this day was absolutely insane. I started the day shooting a fashion show at the Soho Grand Hotel, then went and shot multiple different parties at multiple different venues, finishing the night meeting Abby. Pictured here on the right, I convinced her to do her next A Sexy Party at my new Brooklyn Loft. And we will get to that party very soon. Now we're in mid-July, another crazy day. I shot Lady Sue's dream dinner party at Gospel, one of my favorite clubs, and then went to go do photography for these DJs at Le Bain. Le Bain is French for the bath. As you can see, this club has a bath inside of it. 
Everyone should go in the bath, I believe, one time and never again. But right as I was getting ready to go inside the club, I realized that I did not have my ID on me. I'd forgotten it at home. My roommate's younger brother was staying at my place for a little bit, and he graciously Ubered all the way to the meatpacking district on the west side of Manhattan from Brooklyn just to give me my ID. Shout out, Cruz. You were a big help. LeBain notorious for not letting any photographers inside their venue. Everything kind of worked out, and this was a really awesome day being able to shoot there. The highlight of my summer, a sexy party, was so much work that went into pulling this off, and then it just was a sauna. You would go in and immediately just be covered in your own sweat. If you wanted to wear clothes, then you likely would contract heat exhaustion. And there's over 500 attendees trying to squeeze into lofts in Brooklyn. Uh, it's a huge issue. Still, party was a smashing success. One of my favorite moments in New York City. Now I want to do like a little rapid fire session and just say what the party was and go through the photos really quick. First off, we have the Diza pool party. Then we have another party at Bella Ciao, the infamous Little Italy restaurant that becomes a club. We have a group think party, just super, super fun party in a loft in Soho. We have an electric jungle party. Everyone came dressed as a different animal. Party at Skinos and Fidite. This is Diplo. This was at a secret party in the back of Gospel. Shout out Bobby, who back-to-back -back DJed with Diplo and kindly had me photograph the event, although I did not have my flash with me, so the photos were a little bit darker and definitely was a much more difficult setting to shoot in. And so that brings us to the 2nd of September for the infamous Gossip Girl party. As a photographer, it was really, really fun to see all the craziness, the chaos, but the NYPD did end up shutting it down. A cop trying to find where the bar is. One of my favorite photos I've ever taken. And now we've come to the most intense week of photography I've ever experienced, New York Fashion Week. I basically snuck into every single runway show, after party, event, it's just complete chaos. I'd go to sleep at 4 a.m. and then have an 11 a.m. phone call from my friend who's a designer named The Twink telling me I need to be at a show in 20 minutes. What's also tough about New York Fashion Week is you really have to think about what you're gonna wear. You can't wear normal clothes. You have to look the part. So every single day in those 20 minutes rushing to try to get out of the house, I would have to you know, throw on some crazy concoction, a skirt with a, a button down, a boiler suit with a tactical vest. It's the most amount of fun I would never want to do again. I'm just going to really quickly rattle off all of these events that I went to. Lady Gun Party, pre-New York Fashion Week, Reserved Rogue Icon Party, pre-New York Fashion Week, Nicholas Rayevsky, New York Fashion Week After Party, I Like You and Locks Club, New York Fashion Week After Party, Street Style in front of Kid Super and Private Policy, Marnie, New York Fashion Week After Party, Flying Solo, New York Fashion Week After Party, After Party at the Ned, and the Throwing Fits, New York Fashion Week Party. And now we can fly over to Halloween. This was the Kid Super Birthday Bash with Waka Flocka Flame. I got to personally photograph Waka Flocka. We also got to talk super down to earth guy. When he needed it, he definitely could summon the energy to get the crowd going. There's this random picture I have of Charlie XCX. This was shot at one of those little Italy pizza places that becomes a club. I can't get over that. So for the longest time I want to go to the Jane Hotel it has one of the most beautiful club rooms imaginable. It looks straight out of like a medieval Victorian era novel. I luckily had the opportunity, actually one of the last parties to ever occur there because the Jane has now closed and this was for Love Club. So got to shoot a very, very awesome party there. This is the I Like You party at Art Basel. This was in Miami. This was my second time ever being paid to shoot an event outside of New York City. My first being a thrift convention in Vermont a few months earlier. But yeah, Art Basel, you know, it didn't exceed any of my expectations. I also shot this meta event there. Just was, you know, it was all right. I'm not the biggest fan of Miami either. Rounding off the year in December, some nightlife shots I got were from a boogie at the Nebula Club, the Nicholas Rayevsky pop-up, a bunch of different Hanukkah parties, the Dust of God's New York store opening, and the High Snobiety holiday party. All very, very fun events. And so that's my first year as a photographer in New York City. I chose just to share a few of only the nightlife events that I had attended and photographed. I've shot many different other events, but I figured these would be the most interesting. Just want to say thank you to everyone for supporting me. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you did, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. In the world of photography, I kind of see nightlife as being one of the most elusive and rare aspects of the genre. So it's, it's really interesting for me to kind of look back and, and share these stories. I am very excited for next year. I wish you all a happy new year and see you in 2023. Say it.